Hello everybody, Morbtron here. I finally got my hands on the Monte Carlo. All of my friends were lucky enough to get this thing, like, the first week, some even the first couple hours of playing Shadowkeep, and uh, I was very, very looking forward to getting my hands on this thing. It took until a couple days ago for me to get this thing. I got it uh, Monday night. I got it on, like, the 11th. Monday the 11th of November. Finally got my hands on it. And I gotta say, I'm in love with it just like I was back in Destiny 1. I love it so much, in fact, that I actually bought the ornament for it, because I just can't get enough of giving Bungie my money. But anyway, so this thing has some very, very good perks on it. It's a little bit different from Destiny 1, because they kind of incorporated some other stuff into it. And it's fantastic. In PvE. We'll get to the Crucible part later. Just know, I love this weapon. So people that are, you know typing away in the comment section like, oh, you're, you're making another negative review on an auto rifle. Look, I play on PC. The sandboxes are a little bit different still in Crucible. I love this weapon. I wish it was more viable in the Crucible. I wish there wasn't as much cheese in the Crucible. So other normal tier weapons like this Monte Carlo would be better. It's good. I wish it was more viable in the Crucible. Anyway, before I rant about that too much, before we get into the Crucible section, it's Intrinsic Perk. Dealing damage to the weapon reduces melee cooldown, which you don't really notice all that much, but you get a chance to fully charge your melee ability with each kill, which, if you make a build around this, can be incredibly powerful, um, especially on a Titan. And we have high caliber rounds, because high cals are good. Um, Flinch is nice in Crucible, but we'll get to Crucible later. Uh, and Markov Chain. This is where this kind of got a little bit different. It's slightly different than it was in Destiny 1. Markov Chain is basically Swashbuckler. So the weapon gets an increase in damage from either kills with a weapon or melee. You get a melee kill, you get times 5 Markov Chain. If you get a kill with a weapon, it goes times 1, times 2, times 3, just like Swashbuckler. Just like the good old Swash. Uh, but, so the unique thing about the Monte Carlo is getting your melee ability back. So I'm going to waste my melee ability. I'm just going to go bam. And now I'm actually going to, I'm going to stand in this. And I've got Sun Warrior for 10 seconds. Well, indefinite right now because I'm standing in the sun spot. There we go. I got my melee back already. And now I have another sun spot to stand in. And Monte Carlo is going to do even more damage because I'm standing in a sun spot. And I have Markov Chain times 5 because I got a melee kill. So, that's where the Monte Carlo gets really, really powerful for Titans. And now you're probably thinking, oh, you mean shoulder charge. Just getting your shoulder charge back, whatever. In the Crucible, yeah, sure. Get your cheesy one-hit melee kill back, whatever, you know. Where this thing is powerful for me is with Bottom Tree Sunbreaker with the Phoenix Cradles. So, you get a kill with your Monte Carlo, you get your melee ability back, you go and you punch a thing, you kill it the rest of the way with whatever, maybe a melee, maybe with, you know, finishing out with Monty, uh, trying to get your melee ability back right away. But anyway, you generate a sunspot in the ground that your allies can stand in, and they also get the sun, the sun Warrior perk. And Sun Warrior, if you look right here, uh, reduces the cooldown time on your grenade and melee, and also makes your damage, just increases all damage that you do. Doesn't increase weapon damage, increases all damage. So if you're friends are going to pop a golden gun, or they're going to use a Nova Bomb, or they're going to do a whatever. If there's, if they have the Sun Warrior perk, they don't even have to be standing in the sun spot. They have that 10 second buff going on them, they do more damage. It's fantastic. It's really good. Now is it as good as like, you know, standing in a well or having the, the, the Weapons of Light buff from another Titan? No. But is it really fun? Hell yes it is. And that's why the Monte Carlo is a favorite weapon of mine, because it's really, really fun. It's a very good weapon. But we're going to get into the Crucible now, and now I'm going to get really, really salty about the current Crucible meta and how just how it is in general. Um, yeah, time, time for that. All right, so Monte Carlo in the Crucible. Do I love this thing in PvE? You know, this Swashbuckler, just really, really good to have baked into an auto rifle. Did that guy just totally stand still and let me shoot him in the head to make this point seem like more of a moot point? He sure did, Bill. Um, but 
In the Crucible, the current sandbox is just way, way too refined, and there's too much cheese to go around. Um, is that going to kill me? Is that going to kill me? There we go. There's there's a cheese right there. The last word. Four body shots can kill you, and that thing shoots very, very fast. Um, so 600 RPM auto rifles, 450 RPM auto rifles, 720 RPM auto rifles. They can get the job done. You can get a good roll on stuff. You can you can kill people. You know, you can do damage with them. And I'm sure a lot of people are... Will say, like, hey, you know, like, I, I love my certain whatever spec auto rifle. And it... That guy pulled off a snipe like that earlier on me. And I'm really, really, uh... I'm, I don't know. That's, that's pretty... Mm. Anyway, moving on. Um, so, auto rifles, in general, 600, 720s, uh, 450s, are all really bad in the Crucible, on PC. Now, on console, since you have, you know, a harder time using hand cannons, they're better. Because, kind of, auto rifles are, they compete in the same range as hand cannons, basically, right now. And, you have an easier time using auto rifles there than you do on PC. But on PC, you can range people with last word, like that guy just did. We traded. He was in the air with a last word, and, you know, we did the thing. I finished with a 2.2 efficiency using this thing. It's not bad. Like I said, you can you can use a 600 RPM auto rifle in the Crucible, especially an exotic one that's really good, and do fine. But it's not ever going to compete unless they change things to get rid of some freaking cheese in this game. This game is so cheesy right now in the Crucible. I just can't... It, it's either you play with the cheese and you do amazing or you don't play with the cheese and you hate your life and you never want to play the game again. That might be a little bit overreacting, but there's that. So, as, as far as auto rifles go, unless you have... Like, I'm, I'm, I'm looking... I'm searching for a good roll and a half, Dan. Like, the absolute perfect god roll. Uh, I'm getting close. Um, but yeah, this thing. It's decent. I like it. I love it in PvE. I like being able to get my melee ability back. It's crispy. It feels good. But in Crucible, it's still an auto rifle. And I know people are going to be pissed off at me in the comment section down below because I'm like, eh, yeah, I don't like the Monte Carlo in Crucible. I love this weapon. I loved it in Destiny 1. I love it in Destiny 2. I'm glad I finally got my hands on it. But it's just, it doesn't compete right now it doesn't compete on the top tier level and in the crucible everyone is using the top tier stuff so kind of sucks kind of make it kind of makes the game very lackluster when there's no incentive to use anything other than the absolute cheesiest cheese whiz cheese and come out victorious. Even though winning or losing doesn't matter, other than gaining two extra tokens at the end of it. People still just want that victory. They want to see a W on their screen instead of an L. But, that is going to be it for this video. Um, so like I said, people in the comment section that automatically are gonna hit the thumbs down and say, yeah, you're, you're stupid because the Monte Carlo is my favorite weapon and I love it. I love it too. It's a really, really good exotic auto rifle. It's fantastic. The perks are great. It feels good. It does good damage, but it does not compete with the top tier stuff in Crucible right now. And no auto rifle really does. So, you can get close, but there's always no cigar. It's like auto rifles have always been just kind of a little bit worse than everything else. Which really sucks. It stinks. But that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you want to show your support on the video, hitting the thumbs up button is greatly appreciated. If you're new here, hit subscribe. If you haven't yet, hit ring the bell for notifications for when I post a video. But that being said, do not forget to have a good day, everybody. And I will catch you all next time.